made our way into the kitchen with the celebrity cake designer <laughs> and two-time Cake Wars champion. She's here to teach us how to make the perfect whoopee, I should say red velvet whoopee pie. Welcome back, Reva Alexander Hoff. Thank, thank you so you much so for being here. Thank you, thank you. And of course, joining Debbie, we've got Orly and Paige. We are so excited to try these. Delicious. And please dig in. Oh, we dig are. In. Oh, oh, wait. Tell us twice. <laughs> oh, with a fork? Oh, I don't know. The no, fork just was bite it. Oh, it was okay. Okay. Well, maybe yeah, that's you. You can go. You can do a fork, or you can just. Okay. Okay. This perfect. Perfect. It feels better. Yeah, yeah, before we start cooking fun. this, I have a burning question wow. for you. Mm. What is a whoopie pie? Is it a cookie? Is it a cake? Is it a pie? You know what? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. people, think it's a, people think it's a pie, but really it looks like a cookie, but it tastes like a cake. So. Oh. You know, you're gonna have to make the recipe to really find out for yourself. You know what? Who cares? It tastes good. It tastes so that's, good. Like, that's all that matters. matters. So let's start on these. Now, okay. you know, red velvet isn't always your first go-to thought when making a dessert, but you say these are so easy. Super simple, easy. And with this recipe, we're actually gonna start with a cake mix base so that anybody can do it. Nice. Anybody, anywhere, just follow the recipe and you oh, got it. I love it, so just yeah. from the store. Just from the store. Okay, so let's start. What have we got already started in our so standing mixer? In this bowl right now we have all the dry ingredients and once you put it in there and you kind of mix it up a little bit, get everything incorporated, then we'll add in the liquid. Okay, and you, you add cocoa that? powder. I did, I add a little bit of cocoa powder. It's not straight from the box recipe, this one. <laughs> it's actually we're adding yeah, stuff twist. to it. We have a little bit of flour, a little cocoa. <laughs> A little extra, and that helps flavor. bring out the flavor, right? And yes, the smell. it does. Okay, wonderful. Now we add the wet ingredients. We do. So if you want to go ahead and turn this on, and we're okay. using a beater because you always use a beater when you're using cream okay. batter. Okay. Okay. So tell us what, what so are we, we doing? So we have some buttermilk going in here. Mm. So it's not your normal recipe, right? We're not going straight water. We're using buttermilk. We're adding flavor in here. Getting the oil as well. Look at the color starting to emerge. And as you can see, the red's there, right? That's what makes it a red it. velvet. Yes, yes, yes. So we have eggs. We've got vanilla. We'll just go ahead and, if you want to turn it up a little bit more. Oh, oh no. Okay. You trust Not me much. to do this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Larissa's wearing white. Go uh -oh. for it. Okay, there we go. Oh, more. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, okay. Come on, come on. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, we'll there turn we go. That on. So now that we have the batter all done, you want to probably mix it about one to two minutes just to make sure it's fully incorporated. Okay. No lumps and bumps. But since this is too big, one more quick. Right, we'll go a little faster, right? I didn't do it all. You didn't way. do it all. So go ahead and open this up. Okay. Oh just God. set that aside. So we'll we're going to make so this super scoop. easy. <laughs> super easy. We're going to go with a scooping method. Okay. Do you want to scoop or would you like to I'll let you scoop. scoop. I'm oh, going to okay. sit back and watch. Now, let me ask you a question because if you look at the finished product, they're going to grow. So how far they apart are. do you want to place they're them on gonna the They're going to grow. Paper? So you're going to want to make sure you have about two inches in between. Okay. Just so you have the room for the spread. And all you do is you go ahead and scoop these out straight cookie scoop whatever wow. you got you sure you don't want to scoop one? okay I'll go for one one two three do that parchment paper how parchment important paper. is it you want to make sure you have something on there that you're gonna be able to peel these off really easily so we have parchment paper down you could also do a sprayed pan if you'd like okay so that'll be nice easy yeah and so you have the space in between so you're really allowing for look the spread that. right look at that you're, look at that you're Wonderful. perfect well okay so now we do one it, more sure go for it then it's even. All right. There we go. Just saying. Okay. But, I know, right? So then we put these into the oven, 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. You want to make sure that when you pull it out, you're checking for doneness. So either a toothpick or a nice touch Touchy, to the top. Like it should be firm, right? Yeah, kind yeah. Of so we'll go ahead. Woo. And that would be great just to eat like that when Boy, you this take them out of the oven. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, really good. Oh. So once you put it in there, into the magic oh, oven. Look at beautiful. that. Beautiful. Mm. We have a beautiful whoopie pie. Look at that. And now oh we're going to make our filling, but before we assemble it, you'd want to let these cool, correct? Yes. You're going to want to let them cool just because if you put the filling into them, mm. they'll melt out. Okay. Right? So <laughs> you want to let them set. So they've cooled down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Right. Woo! Okay, now we've got to talk about the filling, though. What do you put in these? Because Yes, what oh, did you put oh, in these? So, it is magic. Well, uh, not only is it is it a cake or is it a cookie, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have the addition of, do we use buttercream or do we use marshmallow cream? <gasps> what? What is it? Exactly. So I like to do both of them. Oh, that's why <laughs> And I mix so it good. together. And just because it's is. red velvet, we go ahead and add... 
the cream cheese too. I knew oh, it. I was it's like, so what? It tastes like cream cheese, but yes. it tastes like so something else. So yeah, there's like marshmallow, my... whipped cream. Oh, oh whipped cream, marshmallow, buttercream. Just see everybody's it. faces right now. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's work. assemble because so I want to try this. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the smaller bag. Okay. It might be easier Thank for you, you to pipe Yes. With. So we just go ahead and pipe the filling into the center. Okay. So you want to like watch starting it. You want to go center. for it. In the center. I'm watch. Reva, while you do that, will you tell everybody about your online baking classes? Because I know you're really passionate about teaching everyone your passion, really. Thank you. I am really passionate about this. I think that people need to learn these home arts. And what better way than while you're at your home, you can learn online. So I do have some online classes coming up. You can find out all the information on my website. Oh, it's so pretty. But yeah. And you're a great teacher. You're so much fun to watch Thank and you make you. it so simple. Wait, so we can pretty. actually make stuff that looks that good? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. look at, I just Seriously. made these. <laughs> <laughs> you are a great. good teacher. Yeah. And the, the key is, is that you just have to do it. Yes. Yeah. It's right. not going to look like fabulous at first. You have to learn from the beginning, right? right. So you start with basic classics classes and go up from there. I mean, you just made a whoop. I know. Five. We can oh, we oh, can you dig in with me because this just looks amazing. It's so you good. just got an A+. Plus. Yeah. Wait for uh, it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know. There you go. <laughs> Uh, isn't it? Oh my God! Thank you so much, oh, Reva. Oh, 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 oh. Delicious again. <laughs> and you can find this recipe on HallmarkChannel.com.